So much hype about new wireless go model 2 right now on the YouTube and everywhere and people excited and yeah it's a good product of course the reason why I know because I have model 1 I don't have the go 2 but I have uh, original go and I have two sets so I'm sure that wireless go 2 is better than this one but uh, I was thinking like, okay, the selling point of that new version of Wireless Go is uh, 656 feet or 200 meters. And uh, yeah, it's great. I mean, it's, it's a long distance. But I was thinking, how often do I record on that distance? And actually, I never did. Especially uh, like two people walking so far away and if I want to film somebody so far away uh, it's even less probability that I want to hear the conversation they they have in between them so far away and even if I do then uh, the distance so great so I wouldn't be able even to synchronize the sound by their lips I mean it would be very very hard to see when they say in something like uh, to read the lips uh, unless you want to zoom it then you can synchronize but if you zoom in it so why are you gonna film it so far away uh, and even if you want synchronize without zoom then probably it would be better less risk to do just voice over and the quality of the sound would be better most likely and um, so there will be absolutely no way to say if it's synchronized or not plus uh, 657 56 feet actually point two it's um, you have to be in a field not to have anything between this uh, the camera and people you're filming but if you, in uh, most likely scenario, if you're filming in a city or whatever, there will be obvious, I mean, most likely there will be something between. So there is more chance for interference, for breaking the sound, and um, somebody will walk by some... Okay, 656 feet. Do I film 200 feet? Uh, very, very seldom. Most likely what I do... I mean, if you do interview, what, 10, mostly 20 feet. Again, if you're doing, if you take a video of two people, then um, how are you going to keep them with one camera? You have to have wide angle lens. Um, it's, it's kind of not realistic scenario. I mean, if you're filming two people together, not far away, possible scenario that you're using two cameras, and with the wireless go too, you cannot use them for each camera because there is only one receiver. Then you have to use, you have to record sound on one of the cameras and then to sync it to another camera, which is more work of obviously, I mean, no, no doubt about it. So, uh, after considering all these scenarios and distances and how many cameras you're gonna have and all this stuff, so I came to conclusion that uh, the way I have it, it's more practical, at least for me. I don't know, for somebody else, maybe it's more practical to have two transmitters and one receiver, but what I have, I have two transmitters and two receivers. So whenever I need to record on one camera, I can connect them. All I need is just extra cable like this, and that's it. And I can record separate channels, and I can do stereo sound and all this stuff. And when I need to record to two cameras, then I just plug one transmitter to one camera and another transmitter to another camera, and boom I, I'm recording on two cameras sounds 
and I don't need to synchronize it later and stuff like that. So to me, it's it's much easier process. Plus, another thing which is very important actually, I have black color set and I have white color set, which is the white is good when you're using like lighter, lighter, uh, you know, cloth, or the black is good when you're using darker cloth on your talent. So that's another practical reason. As far as I know, the wireless go to doesn't come with two different colors transmitters. They all the same. I haven't actually seen yet white. Maybe I just didn't, but anyway. Also, another reason is it makes easier uh, because I can see right away whose transmitter uh, I have on this person and, and what color of transmitter, what transmitter I have to adjust if I need adjust uh, on that person. So again, that makes more practical visual uh, I would say preference or advantage. I don't know, is it advantage or not? Again, yes, these uh, transmitters, they don't go that far as wireless go too. But as I said, I practically don't film so far away. So that's one reason or two reasons or three reasons already. I mean, one is distance. Uh, another one is I, I'm able to use transmitters on two cameras and the third one the third one is the colors so these two sets of wireless go model one I have uh, more flexibility and actually it's yes it's a hundred dollars more this would be four hundred dollars compared to wireless go to which is three hundred dollars but in case you need two receivers then you have to spend six hundred dollars which is two hundred dollars more than having two sets okay that's another reason that's why i think this is more practical for me again now let's hypothetically think that what if transmitter has failed you died or something else i don't know what <clears throat> so if you somewhere out of the studio, you out of the luck. You you cannot do anything. In this case, when you have two two receivers, if one dies, at least you have one, and you can work with one. It will be harder than if you need two, but at least you didn't waste your time and didn't go out for nothing. You can do something. Yes, the. Wireless Go 2 has another um, advantage beside the distance. You can record internally on transmitter. It's good, yeah. I mean, in case something happened with camera recording, you have backup audio here. Yeah, it's, it's, I don't know how good is that process. Uh, I've seen videos when people kind of not happy with software or something like that. I, I'm not sure. But anyway, again, it's more work in post-processing. wonder what would you prefer to have? Would you prefer to have a new wireless go to, which gives you cool 656 feet distance range in case you may need it. Plus you have ability to record sound on transmitters and you don't mind to do a little extra work in post-processing to synchronize this audio or would you prefer to have original wireless go two sets which gives you more options for connectivity it's much easier to work with two cameras plus you can have two different colors white and black and it's much easier to see who has white mic or who has black mic <music>